Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about um, the products we need for a bridal party or at least the products I put in my bag for a bridal party. Um, so sometimes I try not to overpack but I know that we get a little nervous when we go do a bridal party. Maybe someone has some has difficult hair so you just throw one product in there. Um, so I try to carry a bag like about this size. I think I got this one like at Marshall's in the traveling area, the luggage area. Um, and with that, I try to make sure there's like compartments in there. I want to separate my tools and want to separate my products. So, anyways, let's move on. For my tools, I always make sure I carry a flat iron. And this one is the GHD uh, Platinum Styler. It's my favorite flat iron because I can curl their hair. Um, if someone has really frizzy hair, sometimes I just avoid using the curling iron. I'll just start curling with the um, with my styler just because it's going to smooth it out and curl at the same time. My Babyliss Pro curling iron, a one inch. Always take a one inch. I use the one inch a lot because um, when you're doing updos, you have to think about um, their hair as they, you know, as they leave um, your chair. You want to make sure the style lasts a little longer. So sometimes I'll use the one inch even for if they're looking for more of a wave. I'll still use the one inch just because I know it's going to come down a little. And I and I uh, want to be on the safe side and make sure their hair doesn't um, get flat before um, before photos. My Babyliss Pro um, one inch and a quarter. There's some girls that you don't really have to worry about, and if they do want that like nice wave, a one inch and a quarter is perfect for their hair. So that it goes in my bag. Um, my Paul Mitchell unclipped, meaning it's unclipped as in you can actually take these apart with the Paul Mitchell ones and just put them back on. They actually come with three uh, different sizes. I personally love this size, so this is the one I take. Um, I try, like I said, I try not to take too many styling tools or products. Anyways, so I always carry four tools: my Paul Mitchell Express, my wand. Um, two of my curling irons are from Babyliss Pro, one inch and one inch and a quarter, and my GHD Platinum Styler because it does curl your hair. Okay, so the next thing you need, obviously, are bobby pins, and I always buy mine from um, from Cosmoprof. I always make sure to have different colors, so here's some gold for blonde hair, browns for brunettes, and I actually keep them in this cute little bag I found. It has three dividers and then I have more bobby pins inside, and there's some dark brown in here too. And in this little bag, besides bobby pins, I always carry rubber bands. Um, I carry, I always carry clear rubber bands um, for updos and and I try my best to carry like hair ties, just right, like different colors, so like light brown, blonde, um, black, my favorite clips, this one's from Fermar. Mar. And these ones to hold up really high. Okay. My teasing comb. It's heavy duty. <laughs> because I know some girls really need the extra tease. And a pick. I always use a pick when I, if someone wants really nice, like smooth waves, I'll use a pick versus a brush. I, my Olivia Garden brush or Rat Tails comb. Definitely need a nice comb like this. This is great for traveling. So small, put it in your little bag. A paddle brush, just in case. And of course a wet brush. Detangling brush, take it with you everywhere. You need to at least have a couple of brushes just in case someone has really bad tangles or um, for whatever reason. Make sure you carry brushes. I know that a lot of times we'll just use combs, but you do need a brush. I also forgot to mention the Olivia Garden comb. The reason why I like it is because it's a smoothing brush. It's a smoothing brush. You can see this, the bristles. And if you need a comb, my favorite is the Carbon Cricut comb. It's really sturdy. To like, if you um, 
before curling if their hair is really tangly and not smoothed out all the way this one's a perfect comb to take all the tangles out make sure it's all smooth before even a uh, before curling their hair carry a mirror just so they could see their hair from all different angles so styling products you already finished tools so you can see I have a lot of Kenra products they are my favorite for styling especially for updos I feel like they hold the best when it comes to like setting sprays and hairsprays um, or even texture sprays or any kind of paste there are two sprays that I'll for sure use and this one's a hot spray up to 20 it's a a firm holding spray and they just came out with this new one it's called heat block and it's a high holding spray so this one I actually I used it this weekend and I actually liked it a lot um, I had a lot of girls with really fine uh, hair and it held their curls really nice um, a sheer holding spray for minimum hold this, this one is for more of like flyaways to get rid of them I always carry this one just in case especially there's there's always some one girl that says that she doesn't like hairspray so I always try to keep that one with me and then the maximum hold the finishing spray volume from Kenra this hairspray is already won 12 times with behind the chair um, it's my favorite hairspray doesn't flake up which I really like it's really hard to find a hairspray that doesn't flake up too much paste whether it's a or wax paste whether it's a shine or a matte um, these have to be my favorite. So this one is Kenra Platinum Taffy. It's number 13. It's a mi like me minimum low to medium hold. Um, it really helps smooth out hair if they have a lot of frizz, especially the girls with curly hair. And this one's more of a matte finish. I like this one for girls with natural hair. Sometimes uh, you can't see their updos very much when they're too shiny. So sometimes a matte will help with them. And this one's a medium hold. So. Like I said, everyone, you'll get a girl with curly hair. It's always extra frizzy. And um, I just started using this incredible milk or incredible oil from Milkshake. It works really nice. You just need a little bit and it just helps get rid of any frizz. Um, and it's not too heavy, which is great because some of the oils can get too heavy and completely ruin your updo. Or they'll just fall right out. My, uh, my all-time favorite gloss, though, for, for frizz, um, when I'm doing like a nice smooth wave or uh, for any kind of curl is uh, the Kenra gloss it's a um, it's my favorite it's not too heavy it just gives enough shine now texturizing products um, my favorite dry texture sprays from Kenra it's a minimum hold um, this is my favorite it smells so good sometimes you'll get those girls with those who want that more beachy look and this is my favorite product for that look um, and then for texturizing powders I do like I actually like this one this Kenra it does help with a little bit of teasing and it's I usually use it for girls who don't like uh, too much volume but they still need it so I go ahead and use this one but my all-time favorite texturizing powder of course is puff me powder for volume to even give more texture um, to do really like boho looks for uh, like boho updos or even um, more of that like cute messy bun that they like the girls like um, or for braiding especially braiding if they want that cute chunky braid this is my all-time favorite powder because I can really work with it um, if their hair is wet make sure you take power dry me to smooth uh, to smooth out their hair and speed up the process so these are all my favorite products, styling products. Um, I'm sure you have your favorite, but these are mine. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you liked my video, go ahead and hit like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.